Hi guys, so I've been getting a lot of emails asking me to actually switch to the 2010 version of Visual C++ Express Edition and that's what I'm going to do because I actually tried it out and you know it, it's really cool. It actually highlights the syntax errors you have as you type in the code and you know everyone started using it out of nowhere so I'm like you know what we'll use it. So yeah so just go to go to Google I, I'm pretty sure you know how to download this by now just go to Google type in Microsoft Express Downloads and then hit that and this will take you to this screen and then all you gotta do is pick Visual Studio 2010 Express you know earlier we chose 2008 now well 2008 was kinda colorful and nice and everything but now it's all blue so that's that's cool um, and then just go to Visual C++ 2010 Express click on that and then select your language just in case you learned a couple of languages you know since the last time we did this but for me I, I haven't learned anything else so it's gonna be English and after you pick your language it just pops up and you save your file um, and then you download it and it's somewhere here so yeah and then you click on that double click that and everything and then you know it'll guide you through the process of downloading it and at one point you're just gonna say yes I read the terms blah 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 and then get to this point here where it's just actually installing and this is gonna take it you know take a while because it's been doing this for about uh, I'll say like five minutes it's it's gonna keep doing it for a while because you know, look at the green thing you know so yeah um, I'm gonna pause the video for now and then we'll actually start working in the 2010 environment it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be nice because you know especially that red little line that underlines your errors syntax errors it's pretty cool um, so yeah if you were using the 2008 version with me and you like that version and you think you're learning you know just keep doing that if you want to switch 2010 with me just do that as well you know whatever you feel comfortable with you know is the best way to go so yeah another thing is that you have to register this version just like you have to register the 2008 version it's free you know you just have to um, register it within 30 days and they just give you you know a free registration key and you just hit on instructions here and you basically you know are able to read through it and register it I'm not gonna register it right now because I just want to get this video done so yeah so I'll pause it right now and I'll, I'll turn it back on once the installation process is over okay Okay guys, so basically after you install um, the software, all you gotta do, or the, the actual Visual C++ 2010, all you gotta do is go to your start menu and then type in C++ and you should find Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express. Now I had already deleted my old 2008 version. Um, if you haven't done that, it'll it'll show up as well. Pick the 2010, click on that, and it'll take you here. Now, all you got to do is go to File, or actually just go to New Project right here. Click on New Project. Of course, you can also go to File, then New Project, something like that. Um, it's really simple, same thing, just different. It looks cooler, um, you know click on Win32, Win32 console application and then fill in a name for the actual project and call it um, project one. Okay and then hit OK and then click next empty project so we've done this already it's really the same thing nothing that different um, takes you to this page and then go to that project one 
right click on it and add new item and just add a C++ file right here so you can say code and then C++ file and then call this um, I don't know whatever you want code okay and then add and here you go this is your CPP file this is where your hash include IO stream and then hash include or just using namespace std and int name and then open up the the function and close it return zero and there you go let's try it see out Okay, and let's. And the way I want you guys to do this when when you want to run it, just hit Control F5. Okay, Control F5. And yes. So basically, Control F Control F5 is equivalent to hitting Start without debugging in the 2008 version. And there you go. You see 2010. Okay, next time we're going to go back to talking about our while loop and maybe introduce the for loop and then go from there. We're really going to get deep into C++ and by the time you're done with all the tutorials, you're going to be professionals and do really good stuff. So stay tuned and watch my next video. Thanks.